everyone welcome all of you on my youtube channel i hope you all are doing well and yeah i'm also good okay so today's video is different from cognizant it is not related to cognizant or uh, something but yeah it is very informative why because as you can see it is uh, visible on my screen today we are going to fill a form for NIC which is National Informatics Center so there is a large number of vacancies uh, there this time for the post of scientist B scientific officer and the scientific or technical assistant A so there are basically three posts and those all the three posts are very 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 good and it is a very you can say good opportunity to all of you who have already completed their master degree in computer science and also if you have you know uh, completed your graduation in electronics then you are eligible why i'm telling because there are so many people who want to know who are in are they eligible or not so obviously the syllabus is for uh, you know syllabus is from cs background and electronics digital electronics probability statistics these kind of things so the candidates who have who have done their graduation and masters in cs computer science they are eligible and also the electronics stream uh, candidates are eligible here okay so these were about information regarding this post so today in this video i am going to fill a form and obviously i'll go to, i'm going to fill for me only because um, uh, where i am recently working in cognizant that is uh, for programmer training means i have applied on the basis of my just pca degree only i haven't applied yet for mca and uh, i have completed so i should uh, apply right and uh, yeah let's see and hopefully if i will get time i'll try to manage time if i will get time so not only i will fill form uh, in front of you all and will be sharing but also um, i'm thinking to prepare for this just because we'll apply the, uh, here the story doesn't end right we have to prepare and we have to grab this opportunity not just filling so i am thinking i should prepare with you all also those who are willing to fill this form and those those who are eligible and they want to grab this they can stay tuned with me for uh, further for these okay so now without wasting much time let's get started so as you can see this is the official uh, page of nic and where you can see application for scientific and technical posts in NIC and here advertisement number is also given NIELIT slash NIC slash 2023 slash 1. Why I have read this uh, line? Because there can be fake or uh, not official website. So you don't have to confuse. That's why if uh, you are there, if you have already uh, came to this page so it should be visible like this right so here you can see two options click here for login or register to apply so see if you are new to this means if you are filling from very first time if you have not applied yet for any of the three of the posts so first you have to register to apply okay once you will register then you can uh, click here for login and then after logging in you can uh, start proceeding with your application and also there is one important point that is you have to register only once you have to register only once for three of the posts uh, like you don't have to confuse like if you want to apply for all the three posts because those three are very good and also very good package of salary so everybody will be uh, you know wish to come join here so yeah uh, there are queries people were asking regarding this that's why i'm telling uh, you have to uh, register only once for all the three not uh, separately for every time okay once you will be registering and uh, i'll show you how it will be like i have already registered so i will not register it again and i'm just showing to you see here you can see a note candidates applying for more than one post need to register only once and have to apply for all the desired posts in posts in the same application and i think uh, the i mean uh, it is free for the women candidate but uh, uh, for the rest of the people means uh, women and SCST is this free 
for them but rest like men uh, they uh, they had they need to pay for it i think 800 for each okay so yeah that's uh, regarding that uh, payment and here you can see new registration uh, form so this is very simple you need to fill your full name and the agenda here your date of birth here category if uh, category means like from which category you belong general or ew or that's est any whatever then pw whether pw if yes then yes if no then no and whether working in government organization if yes then yes otherwise no whether ex servicemen with three or more years of experience so no i, I mean if you are uh, if you have done then you will be have to fill here, here yes then email here you need to fill and these all are mandatory you can't skip any one of them okay here you have to fill your uh, valid and active email and you need to check it uh, you know you need to be active here because for further details you can be get information in your email so you need to active and you need to keep checking your emails so it should be valid and active and the same email you need to provide in this box also for confirming and here alternate email is also mandatory to fill so any alternate email you can give for of your siblings or mother anyone and then here you need to create a strong password and uh, it should contain like uh, what yeah it, it should be between 8 to 15 characters and it should contain one at least one small letter one capital letter special characters numerics these things you are knowing so the uh, you need to create password you then you need to confirm password and then here you will fill capture which is showing here in the image above then you need to click on register and i'm repeating once again you need to register only once once you will be registering here then you will get notification like thanks for registering and then you will get your id because here you are just creating your password but you are not creating any id so the id you will be getting in your email this email which you will be providing here your primary email okay so there you will get your uh, candidate id and password you have already created so take few time and for me you know what then clicked in my mind okay i should make a video on it i was uh, trying to register here but three two four or five times i i was feeling according to me i was feeling a correct information here only i don't know what was lagging behind and when i was clicking here for a register so it was not registering and even it was not showing any error oh, okay but it was uh, again and again showing the same page only maybe it is because of password maybe i was doing some mistake or what but after few trials uh, it was successfully registered and then i got a candidate id on my email so once you will get that then you need to again come back here here you can see click here to log in and after clicking here to log in you will be redirected to these kind of page so here your candidate id name and email will be there then you need to click here proceed to application view and submit but first we need to proceed for this application address then your district your state pin code address for communication if same then you need to just click here this check box and then again the, these all will be filled if you will click here but i have not filled yet so that's why it is not visible to you but yeah okay then your mobile number will be here your alternate phone number and your id type it is in bracket it is mentioned you can prefer other prefer other so obviously you need to give your other card uh, you need to select here and then id number you need to give here then your nationality citizen of india obviously then father's name then your mother's name and after filling all these personal information of you, you need to click here save. Okay, then uh, wait. Okay, so after filling all the required information here, uh, you need to save it. And here you can see in the mobile phone, it is here uh, mandatory to verify your mobile number also. So you need to click here verify. Uh -huh. 
and then you will get OTP in your phone and then you need to provide here OTP which you received okay then you have to click here validate all right now mobile number verified successfully then now we can proceed ahead okay so here this is the section for qualification you need to fill here the matriculation class 10 percentage then your 10 plus 2 percentage essential qualification acquired essential mca okay name and address of the university from where the essential qualification is completed okay you need to provide here the details of your university and all then marks in percentage for the essential qualification you need to fill here then month and year of passing then get qualified if yes then if, yes if no to no i have not even applied yet <laughs> so i'll obviously fill here no uh, okay after that phd qualified or not no not even applied once you will fill all this information, then you need to save and proceed. Let me fill, then I will proceed ahead. Okay, so here you need not to confuse like uh, what essential qualification you need to fill here. Because see, you are eligible why? Because you have completed your master degree, whether it could be your MSc, MC or MTech or MPhil okay but uh, obviously bsc or bc will not be there because you are applying on basis of your master degree right so you have to fill here mc only and if you will fill here mca so obviously you have completed your graduation means your bca then you are filling then you have completed your mc and then you are now eligible to apply this application so you need not to fill bca here in the additional qualification okay as like i was con getting confused for a little amount of time so i thought i should tell this and yeah apart from it if you have done any diploma or something you can even see in your uh, drop down menu also if you have done any of this which is uh, additional qualification then you can fill here otherwise you can simply save and proceed okay so after completing your qualification part you will be coming here post and center so you need to as you know as i have already said that uh, you can apply for multiple posts not just for one if you are eligible for all three so you can apply for all three posts separately and you need to register only once okay so for example if i am going to apply once for uh, starting with scientist b so I'll click here. Ensure that essential qualification is filled before choosing post. Yeah, I have failed. Let me check again. Oh, oh shit! I I think I ha I forgot to save or what? Okay, so I think I forgot to click on save and proceed after saving only once your data will be saved then uh, it will be asking on your page like uh, your data is saved then you need to click on OK and then you have to click on next then you will be redirected here. All right, then you can see here three posts are given. So let's start with scientist B first. So I will check here. Okay, okay, okay. Now note candidates planning to apply for more than one post have to choose all the desired posts in the same application. Oh great. Okay. So <laughs> I'll select all three. Stamina, I need to plug in with charger.
charging now. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so this is good. I need not to fill again and again for the posts, right? Ensure that is essential. Okay. Uh, candidates planning to apply for more than one post have to choose all the desired posts in the same application. So in the same application only you need to select all. If you want to select, for example, only a technical assistant. Okay. So for this, I think graduate candidates are eligible. Uh, you need not to worry okay you can go here and uh, here you can see detailed advertisement for this and uh, also all the sample signature sample image all is given here so you can uh, read the important guidelines there it is mentioned like who which is who are eligible who are not eligible all the required and also when when you will be on your uh, registering page then there will be one option how to apply so if you will click there then all the with sample examples you will be getting there but okay let's see again so now i'm selecting all three then examination center preference first preference let's see which is here apna bihar nahi hai oh yeah I can see Patna. <laughs> so I will select Patna first. Second, 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 second. Really? Most probably we will be getting our first preference as our center, right? But theek hai, let's fill all the centers. I mean, all the three preference. Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Chandigarh, Chennai, Delhi, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Kochi, Kolkata. <laughs> Second should be Kolkata, right? Hmm. I'm working there. Third should be should be Delhi. Okay. Hoping I'll get Patna. Okay. Now we have to save. now the important part and also frustrating part <laughs> we need because of this dimension and all pdf size everything so this is the irritating part I, for me but i hope it will work fine so here photo upload upload passport size photo it should be under 10 to 50 kb and uh, jpg resolution width is also given Candidate shall upload his recent color passport size photograph with white background. Uh -huh. That's why I said the frustrating part. Okay. You need to check your uh, background of your photo. Okay. It should be white. And 3.5 centimeters to 4.5 centimeters. This is the dimension in JPG format of size. Not more than 50 KB with candidate's name and date of uh, With candidate's name and date of birth printed on it. Hmm, I'm stuck. I stuck here because I don't have any picture with the you know with this criteria <laughs> that to uh, what I can say. Yeah, I have not. I need to go to studio or I need to edit something. I need to do some arrangement for it. Because in white background I can do, but not with like a date of birth and this should be printed. If photo is not correct, application will be rejected and I don't want it. Sample image is given below. Click here to, yes, you can see sample photo. Okay, 3.5 centimeter this, 4.5 centimeter this, candidate name and below then date of birth. So I think I can't fulfill this form right now, but I, at least I can show you. I'll show I'm showing you can see you can you will be having some idea on it let me click a picture of it okay. yeah. all right and uh, after yeah you can once you will be getting then you can choose file from here you can select clicking here you, your uh, picture will be uploaded here but as I said, I don't have any ready picture with this requirement because I was not knowing that, uh, uh, I mean, this criteria, candidate name and date of birth should be printed on that picture. I was not knowing. So this is the benefit before filling form. You should know all the things. 
and then you should apply and that's why i'm making this video like for me i'm taking my example only i was not knowing this seriously so i was not ready so once uh, before you uh, sit to apply you need to take all the documents handy with you like you you should know if you are knowing uh, then very good you should know all the details like all the percentages which year which month you passed your aadhar card number your id everything so you it, if it will be handy with you then it is very simple and you will be filling it quickly right but if it is not then it become irritating <laughs> so yeah so now you got it right like uh, what is the requirement of the correct photograph with all the resolutions and all and then signature signature i am having but uh, okay i'll fill it both uh, uh, simultaneously upload signature 10 to 30 kb jpg resolution is given you can see sample i think i have but yeah according to this exact dimension i need to edit it okay 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 there is another documents also to be uploaded so photo id proof okay then certificate of date of birth issued by municipality acha okay you need to upload your date of birth certificate also issued by municipality to issue your matriculation high school ssc certificate okay you can uh, slash in slash it is given your you can upload your high school or ssc certificate also so any is fine any one is fine then your sslc matriculation mark list ha eh? you need to upload your mark list also okay first time i am seeing here to upload uh, you know mark list also of your 10 plus 2 and 10 uh, oh my god this is going to be very exciting <laughs> because first time i'm seeing it as of now i was just knowing to fill your percentage and yeah you can fill your uh, certificate but okay at the time of cognizant also at the time of bgv and all we were have to that was also so lengthy process we were having to fill you know uh, yeah you must be knowing like uh, all the semesters marks list so that is yeah here also you need to up upload then certificate of original qualification which makes him eligible for applying for the post so yeah i am mca i have done mca so i'll choose here and upload on any one na because which is uh, you are having you need to apply i am not m take or m fill or uh, whatever Uh, 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 okay 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 mark list is here then m tech m phil ms certificate if any b tech msc mca doe accb okay not to confuse here you need to upload your certificate of your master degree and in second you need to upload mark list of your master degree okay third is not for me like i'm not i have not done m tech m phil or ms so this is not related to me then get a score card nahi hai bhai i mean <laughs> i have not uh, get qualified i'm not get qualified not even phd to so, yahan pe i don't we don't have to choose any one uh experience certificate that's why i have not uh, mentioned their experience certificate because this is a very genuine question but why because it is true that i am working in mnc and many or many others like me are already working there and they also can uh, feel to apply here so in this case if you uh, if you will mention there in your uh, qualification part that you have experience so it is mandatory now to upload your experience certificate however we are already i mean we are working there now also we haven't resigned or something like that so in the mnc if you are working once you will resign once you will be out of your company then only you will be having your experience certificate but if you are already working there then you will not have this so how will you upload your certificate so why will i take so much of stress and all i will just feel like no no experience at the time of interview i can say and i can provide the same reason but uh, yeah i don't want to even resign it in advance and all it is tough 
but we have to manage we have to prepare with this scenario only but i can't upload here so i will skip this part okay this was also a genuine question it it may be come in your mind so that's why i said then category certificate acha if applicable then you need to upload your category certificate but uh i don't have even ews i need to apply as general only so sad but okay me and me need to prepare very hard yeah the, because the level of question is very will be very good as i have uh, i came to know ab uh, about this and after seeing the previous year papers it was a get level net level question <laughs> so we need to prepare hard all of us whether uh, belonging to any category it is not easy then if you a pw then pwd certificate noc if applicable if applicable if applicable so according to your requirement you can upload here then additional documents if any then you need to if not then you need to just save and proceed but i have not updated here and yeah I, i'm a girl so for me the payment part is not there otherwise if you are feeling I mean this is the step 2 and step 3 is your payment part but uh, for me uh, there is no payment that is very good for me <laughs> so i can apply and yeah uh, there were so many candidates they were asking like uh, uh, for payment if you are applying for all the three posts so whether it will be just 800 or 800 into 3 that is a good question right but uh, i need to get confirmation on this but here as it is written like if you are uh, i mean uh, in the same application only you can choose all the posts which you want so i think it will be 800 only it should be but i'm not confirmed so i won't comment on it but yeah after getting gaining some information on it i will update in the comment section and once you will save here then here is a log out option you can but uh, i need to stop here right away because i don't have this so i first i have to get this photograph and signature with the uh, mentioned diamonds and then uh, that's it then we will be able to submit and here you can see in the first page only no 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 this was not yeah ha huh? where it is in the first page only we were able to see na right uh, um what was that to check the check box and uh, final submit option you will get once you will fill all this then you will get it okay so that's all about how to apply here you can see Th this uh, for this i was talking about how to apply here all the mentioned required guidelines are given step 1 is your registration which we have done successfully you saw it step 2 submission of applicant details step 3 is payment of application not applicable for women sc st and pwd applicants so there are total three steps two steps we have done but not done uh, it is yet to complete because i need to upload photographs and documents so that i will do but you can get you will be having idea so for before applying you have to get, uh, you should have all the documents for the signature everything handy with you then you will be easily able to apply it okay so i hope it this video will be uh, beneficial for you all and if you liked it so you can subscribe to my channel to just boost my confidence and my motivation thank you guys thanks for watching